Aloha friends, time for another moment of truth. And in this one, we're gonna be talking about this little thing. You may have seen magicians, um, myself included, show you a little frame of a, uh, a coin purse, and then with empty hands reach inside and still somehow make money appear. How is that possible? Why do we do it? Well, here's why. You see, it's as much for us as it is for you. If you've ever tried it, you can't make money appear or disappear just by wishing for it. That doesn't happen. What you need is something to visualize, like um, uh, like this, like this. This is an invisible handkerchief. And if I just drop it on the coin, you see the coin becomes invisible too. If you don't believe me, look, I'll take the handkerchief off and there's the coin. See, it's that visualization that makes that possible. Or imagine if I pretend that this hand is not a hand, but rather a slot machine in Las Vegas. The tumblers turn, I lose my money. That's sort of the way it works. Of course, if it works differently for you, you can make the money come back. It's all just visualizing the, uh, the event first. So that's what the uh, purse frame is for. It helps you visualize. Um, also, if you've ever seen that other trick where the magicians uh, rub their hands on a coin and it becomes like a Chinese coin like this, uh, that's all visualization also. I mean, it's got a hole in the middle. It's kind of hard to see uh, how that could become that. Uh, so you've really got to visualize this. And the way you do that is you ask yourself, what's wrong with that coin? Uh, um, what should be different if it were to be a Chinese coin? Well, the first thing you have to visualize is the color. The color's all wrong. Chinese coins are sort of brass on the outside and dark black on the inside. And then, once you've got that, you can get the rest of it. And then that's the, uh, the way the, the silver dollar becomes a Chinese coin. Of course, now with practice, I'm pretty good at it. Um, so that's the way it works. Um, and that's what I did before this. I just pretended, visualized that the coin was inside the coin purse and then we're off to the races. And that's all the truth you're getting today.